After Thanos has defeated the Avengers and reclaimed the Infinity Gauntlet, he raises his arm in triumph. Confident in his imminent victory, he declares, I am inevitable, only to realize that nothing happens. To his surprise, Iron Man now possesses the gems from his armor's gauntlet. He looks at Thanos and says, I am Iron Man. In that split second, Captain Marvel appears and grabs Iron Man, and they disappear in a flash. Thanos and his evil troops turn to dust and vanish, freeing the world of their oppression. The bodies of Iron Man and Captain Marvel appear on the ground, injured but with a glimmer of hope remaining. Captain Marvel's actions split the damage between her and Iron Man, giving him a chance to survive. The heroes must bring the wounded to someone who likely knows how to heal them, the Collector. Thor and the Guardians whisk the wounded away to nowhere, while the other heroes work to fix the disaster on Earth. Upon arriving at nowhere, they find the Collector still imprisoned in one of the glass cages. They free him and ask for his assistance in helping their friends, and he analyzes the wounded. The Collector says that these wounds are magical and can only be healed with magic. The only way he believes they can be saved is with Hela's cape. Hela is Thor's sister and the goddess of death, but her cape has the power to grant strength and health to its wearer. Thor is sent to the remnants of Asgard, where his sister resides, to retrieve the cape. When he arrives in Asgard, only ruins and destruction greet him at first. But there she is, standing atop the remains. Hela tells him, I saw what the humans and you did, and I suppose the universe owes you something. Thor explains that they need her cape, but Hela informs him that she no longer has it. She lost it long ago. To retrieve it, they would have to travel to Hell, where she once resided, now ruled by dark creatures. However, Hela is willing to accompany Thor as payment for what they did to Thanos. They agree to a temporary truce, as they have not forgotten the events of Ragnarok, but time is pressing. Upon arriving in Hell, they find it dominated by terrifying demons, against which they fight back to back. After they defeat all the demons, they spot in the distance the ancient castle of Hela. Inside the castle, a figure resembling a demon confronts them, proclaiming himself the new Lord of Death. They engage in an epic battle with him, manage to defeat him, and gain access to the interior of the castle. There, Hela gives Thor her cape, but warns him to be careful as the immense power it holds brings consequences. Thor returns to nowhere, where Captain Marvel appears to be in better spirits, but the same cannot be said about Tony Stark. The heroes envelop Tony in Hela's mantle, and it starts to take effect, healing his wounds. Tony's wounds begin to heal instantaneously, and he starts to regain consciousness. But something strange happens, and his eyes start turning a peculiar black color. He sits up and begins to observe his renewed body. He looks at his hands, glances around, and takes flight. The guardians follow after him, but with his revamped armor, he travels to Earth and disappears. Thor and the others try to find him and locate him in the Avengers Tower. They ask him, what is happening? And Iron Man turns around and exclaims, get away from me. His eyes turn black again and Thor realizes that the cape's malevolence controls him. Iron Man, in a state of frenzy, summons the Hulkbuster and starts fighting against the Avengers. War Machine manages to summon another Hulkbuster, resulting in an epic confrontation between the two titanic machines. Injured Hulk puts on armor and joins the fight that reaches destructive proportions. Meanwhile, Gamora rushes to find Pepper Potts and Tony's daughter, believing they can bring him out of his trance. The fight continues, and Tony defeats War Machine as the heroes prepare to give it their all. Despite their reluctance, the Avengers know that he has become a threat and prepare for the worst. Pepper and her daughter arrive and stand between the line of attack of the Avengers and Tony, who is ready to fight. Pepper reminds Tony of the promise he made before everything happened and encourages him to think of their daughter. Tony has flashbacks of being with his daughter and saying to her, I love you 3,000. Tony realizes what he has done and removes all his armor. 
the evil of the cape loses its effect. Tony loses some strength but becomes aware of what he has done and the threat he has become. Pepper and her daughter run toward him, embracing in an emotional reunion. Tony whispers softly, it's over. Tony drops the Iron Man helmet as a sign of retirement and walks away, holding Pepper's and their daughter's hands. The next day, Tony decides to start a new life, retiring from his hero duties with Pepper and his daughter. They get married in front of all the Avengers in the world, and Tony says, from now on, I am only Tony Stark.